friends, welcome to my video. Thanks for clicking on my thumbnail. Glad you're here with our like team. Now, today, friends, we're staying on the hey friends screen because look at this around me. Alexa, turn on plug one. Do you see this? This right here, this the setup. Hey, this the vibes. It's gone. I'm moving. Oh, no. <laughs> so, there's been multiple reasons as to why I had to go on a month break about a month ago and I've been playing catch up ever since and one of the main ones aside from the fact that school was really busy is I'm moving house this ain't how it's gonna be in the next well in a few days it's gonna look different I'm gonna be in a temporary place and I'm gonna be well then moving to another place again it's, it's, it's a lot I'll get into it in this video but um essentially uh I figured before we leave, I might as well do a room tour. I've been meaning to do like some sort of a K-pop room tour, collection tour. It's not going to be anything in depth. I'm just going to quickly breeze through the whole setup, how everything's been functioning for the last two and a half, three years that I've been running this channel. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to go over. Then we're going to, I'm going to briefly detail what's going to be the plans for the new place that I'm going to be at to, to set up to record these videos and stuff. I have vastly great and imaginable, amazing plans. But, um, yeah, it's kind of sad, isn't it? It's like, it's like it, like I'm low key done recording in this place, like forever. Like I recorded a few videos earlier, some absolute slappers came out today, but I guess we're done. So, um. Oh well, I guess I guess I'll do a room tour. So let me straighten this place up a little bit, and we'll get to it. Okay, so room tour, yeah. All right. So uh, first, before we get to all this this K-pop stuff back here, because that's the highlight, I want to go through my album collection, lifestyle collection, all that detail it with y'all. We're gonna just take a tour of the room real quick because I gotta first of all show y'all what this setup has been looking like that I've been filming all my videos on for, well, let's get into it. Over here, right? Haha, <laughs> ignore the messy desk. The desk is messy because, well, that's the messiest part of the room. I mean, look, this is where you film all the videos, this is where you, you put your stuff on, you get your work done. It's not gonna be clean. Ignore the wire management, it don't gotta be good. It's just sitting on the desk. There's the mic. We're going to get into it all, okay? We got the double ring light situation to help with the lighting. We got the camera. Shout out Canon. Nice camera back here on the tripod. Extendo in the back, you feel me? It's looking nice, looking good. Uh, we're literally exporting my Itzy video right now. Just reacted to some Espa. Life is good. It was the last videos that I filmed in this place were Espa and Itzy. So we got Espa on loop over here on the TV. Oh, speaking of TV, for all of you that have wondered... That is literally what I watch the videos that I be reacting to on. Literally that, and this is like the main editing computer and all that stuff, like my main monitor, but this is where the stuff I watch goes. And then, for all you Easter egg people, in case you're wondering, this right here, over here off to the side, you're like, oh, but there's a thing. That right there is my laptop. That is what I started this channel on. All I had was that laptop, that camera, that was it. And we were putting in the grind till I ran out of space on the laptop, had a bunch of issues with it, and I had to eventually upgrade to this PC over here. Check this out over here in the corner. We got this nice PC. It's new. It's nice. I I'm going to have such an annoying time moving it. And if you look right here, you might recognize this. This is my mic and mic stand. Used to be connected to the desk over here. I eventually moved it over here. Now it's not in frame. Maybe in the next place it'll be back in frame again. I don't know. But... Hey, it got its job done over here. Now this right here, y'all might know, you might not know. Okay, we got this stool and we got this. This is the table I've done some unboxings on. If any of you do know that, then hey, shout out to you for like knowing. But what you didn't know was it's rigged. This is some DIY, some like crazy DIY. I got some napkins in case my hands get dirty, but it's duct taped to an upside down like... <laughs> That's crazy. Man, I need a beat. Life is strange. Okay, well, anyways, um, so yeah, yeah, got some clothes. You know how I do. Uh, and then over here, because my room is realistically just a, it's a square, it's not that big. Um, over here is my bed. Ignore the fact that it's not made. I was sleeping earlier. <laughs> like, what do you want from me? This is literally a box that I is in my room because I'm moving. So that's great. My bed is literally like squished up against the wall, up against, it's in the corner. And then, in order to save myself from getting blinded by all the lights when I sleep, 
I put this blanket here because yeah. So that that's nice. Um. So, uh, this is this is the closet. Uh, let's see. We got some 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 trash cans over here, but uh, yeah, just closets got clothes and a few games and stuff in here. Um, but yeah, uh, posters. Posters all over the wall. You can pause and look at those if you really want to. It's not that serious. Uh, a lot of these are from the 2020 slash 2021 era of K-pop. We'll get into that later. But that is the era that I was most active in, like, collecting, if you will. So, yeah. I've been taking some of my posters down. Let's see. We got some itsy stuff up there. Uh, I took this UI poster down just early. Oh, my bro. Bro, y'all can see why I had this poster up. But also, this box that's underneath it from K-Town, it's got some stuff in there. Okay, it's had some stuff in there for a while now. And, like, that's for later videos. I'm excited. But I haven't had the time to, like... Hey, you could probably guess what, it's pro what it might be. But anyways, got the door. You feel me? Speaking of the door, how about a door? New jeans. Uh, yep. Yeah, I tell you, we're about to get into that. But real quick, real quick, one last thing. Other side. Boom, if we take a step back, there's actually an entirely different shelf over here. This was actually my OG shelf that I used to store my K-pop albums. <laughs> I took a picture of it, put it on the K-pop subreddit, um, K-pop collections subreddit, W subreddit. Um, but, man, I turned it into an everything shelf. It's got a lot of shoes and then just... A lot of everything. Y'all might recognize these building blocks down here. Maybe this basketball. That's a fan in the corner because it gets hot as hell in here with all this electronics. Um, you know, just got like stuff. Um, but <laughs> y'all would have definitely heard me talk about this in any of my unboxings if you've ever seen them. Behold. <laughs> Behold the light stick wall. The light stick box wall of great. Every time I unbox the light stick, I always be talking about I guess I'll have to throw it. I'm running out of space. Look, I had to put the Ive one up there sideways. Not to mention, these are very, very, very just balanced. Like, this could just fall, and then I'm going to have a big problem. But, hey, you know, it'd be what it be. Shout out weekly, shout out twice. You know, you know, you know. Uh, also, a bunch of art supplies here, because I've told y'all numerous times, I do art in my free time. There used to be a bunch, bunch of art on this wall until I got heavy into K-pop and then I took a ton of the art down and replaced it with other things. But, I mean, I, you know, there's my wife, shout out Mirani. Yup, 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 right here. We got the K-pop, like, this is just inclusions and photo cards and stuff. My binders that I store that in, you feel me? Um, all right, now on to this. All it is. I'm just going to go in order from top to bottom, top to bottom. We're going to go over all of these albums, all of this stuff, and we're going to get into it. So if you were here for just the albums, then let's go. Okay, up first. Um, let's first talk about this thing at the top. This is essentially a bunch of inclusions from albums that I just really liked and I wanted to display them some way. So I put them on the top. I'm just going to pan real slowly. If you see anything you like or know, we got Mirani, we got Shuha, Stacy, Idol, Shana Soda, feel me? Secret number. Oh my God, rest in peace, hot issue, bro. Bro, rest in peace, hot issue, bro. Okay, we got Eden, you are Chewy, Mingi, my guy, Isa. Oh my goodness, Chung Ha. Woo, shout out, Yell. You feel me? Super M. Oh, I need to come back, bro. Twice, Itzy over here on the top. I thought that fit there nicely, so you know. Um, and then, well, let's look at, the, uh, we'll do album last. Let's, uh, let's talk about my faves. Light sticks. Okay, first of all, the, 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 the freaking, the fact that I was able to buy these guitar stands, these are guitar stands, and I was able to use them to hold light sticks, that, that I, I was cooking with this idea. Okay, it wasn't the cheapest, I'm not gonna lie, but I thought it looked great for the time it was here. I specifically had to find shelves that would fit between that door and that wall, but also had enough space to fit these light stick, these guitar stands, I should say. And brother, it was hard, but I, you see, I got these S shaped shelves that cut in just so that it would fit right there. I don't know if you can tell, it's the same over here. They go in some, it's, it's like actually kind of lit. So yeah, but then also on top of just let, 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 let's real quick, okay? 
You have to rotate it for the SOB. Luna, Light Staff, twice. Candy Bong, Z. I still need to get the Infinity. Blackpink version one, Stacy. Dream. Boy, customized Dream Catcher. It's still not in frame. Customized Dream Catcher Light Staff, including the original top. This is the replaced top, because, you know, replaceable. Uh, twice version one, just Candy Bong. Uh, as well as a black pink pillow while we're here and some little dudes just chilling. Uh, then signed in its bag still signed Alexa. I get this out when I do Alexa videos, but you know, signed Alexa light stick from one of her like events. Um, oh my girl light stick idol version one in mix spinny stick stray kids spinny stick. I still need to get the stray kids version two, but you know, I we're working on it. We got 80s down here next to the guitar. We got Cherry Bullet over here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Blackpink version 2020? Was it 2022 or 22? I forget. It's one of them versions. Blackpink version, whatever the heck. Uh, TXD, still need to get version 2. Chunk Ha, her old light stick, now out of use, but um, 80s. Blackpink version 20, whatever the heck version 2 because <laughs> they did version 2022 and then version 2022 version 2 it's confusing but i got that one too uh then we also have ives light stick down here i ran out of space to put them and started just setting them on this shelf here 80s version one that was 80s version two idol version two shout out to idol back here kepler and then we i you feel me that's the light oh wait and of course can't forget light ring from itsy now, that's all the light sticks. When you back up and look at it, it looks pretty far. My thinking was, any light stick that uh, comes with like some sort of a special thing here, like this came with a stand to put that on. This Blackpink light stick came with like a, a mic stand to decorate it with. This Itsy thing came with a wall mount so you can put it on a mount. This Twice one came with this holder, you feel me? So I was like, oh, these all have things to put them in so I could put them on the little crevice here. You feel me? I could set it somewhere. Oh yeah, also we have the uh, uh, Rocket Punch light stick, but it's in its box still. And down here, we have the Red Velvet light stick. It's also in its stand, but I put them next to their respective collections. All right, anyways, so that's the light sticks. Hey, I, lo I love me some light sticks. Feel me? We got the Billy Girls in the back. Been back there since day one. Basically, since I made this collection, I was like a really big Billy stand at the time. Still am, but you know. I am mad at it. Billy's always been behind me for all my videos. That's sick. We love to see it. As well as I have these, um, I made these forever ago. Custom, what do you, what would you call these? They're kind of like, you know, ba concert banners. That's like a thing. Well, these are similar to concert banners. It's, um, I made these. This is my favorite one. So I'm showing it to you first. Uh, they've been back here the whole time as well. Uh, this is an itsy band. It's like black. With painted nails, I painted the white nails and then the pink nails, and then it used rubber bands. I don't know what you call this, but that's their logo. Um, I had fun making that one. Uh, that's probably my favorite one, but we also have this Mamamoo one below it. I don't, it's not going into focus, going to focus. I don't know if you can quite tell, but it's got the Mamamoo written down here, as well as over there. It's literally just their logo. It looks pretty cool, it looks pretty cool. Uh, Eyes one, they got the fluffies on theirs. ATs, shout out to ATs. Secret number. Feel me? We got idol. Let's see. Ooh, I forgot, forgot, forgot. Can't forget. And these are as close as I could get them to their collections. We got, let's see. Get, get, oh, oh. Stray Kids. Stray Kids. We got a TXT one. TXT logo I built out of Legos. And that was kind of fun to build, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Uh, let's see. There's an A pink one hidden way back there when I almost got into A pink. I, I kind of, you know, I'm an A pink music enjoyer. I never became a stan, but I do like their logo, so I made one for their logo. It's kind of hidden behind my, my uh, longboard here, but you know, is what it is. Hey, either way, I had fun collecting those. Um, you feel me? Uh, so I guess we'll go into albums now. That's about all of that that's worth mentioning in the middle, I would say. Got my uh, La Seraphim bat. Uh, my Strat Acoustic guitar and my other bit of my, my two guitars. Um, oh yeah, I I guess we can look at these. Sorry, this will take a minute, but uh, if you've noticed, I forget when this was. They've been up here for over a year now, at least probably. We have these um hanging 
uh, 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 photo cards. I took my favorite photo cards. I'm talking my absolute favorite. Some people, they're going to cringe. If you're a photo card collector, you're one of those people who wraps your inclusions, one of those people who, you know, they take this super serious and you, you, you put them in sleeves and then put those sleeves inside more sleeves and then put that inside of a binder and then put that binder out of the sunlight and away, like look away, please. You're about to cringe and die or something. <laughs> Because these are just not wrapped and they're just on display and there's a clip holding them in place. But like, I, for me personally, feel like if I'm going to collect albums, I like to look at my albums. If I'm going to collect photo cards. Yes, right here. Literally, I have binders. But you know what's in those binders? All the pulls I got that I still like. Hey, I still love my pulls. But the ones that I really like, I want to look at them. That's why I got them. So they've been on display. Come on now. All right, we're going to go through these. As fast as I can, and we're just gonna, you know, boom. That's that's gonna be it. Uh, all right, Sangha, lights on. You feel me? Dana Harishu. Oh my goodness. Winter Espa. Oh my goodness. Cheryong Itzy. Oh, back. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Shihun Billy. Uh, oh, what's good? All right, all right, Rocket Punch. Uh, so he. We got, oh, look at this, bro. The holographic Junyun card from their, oh my goodness, bro. That album is fire. Uh, who Eden ever, bro, Eden, gonna make me, brother, brother, what's good, Kai? What's good, what's good, Uni? W new stage name. Uh, Dingy, we got Chan, look at Chan, look at Chan acting all cute. Yeah, 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 I feel you, I feel you. Ah, Shuha, yup. Oh my, bro, she might be strapped up. Like, don't play with her. But how do not that is adorable. Like absolute speaking of adorable, me and Saul right into Jihan, who used to be my old bias in K-pop at one point. Oh my goodness. Those are two of my favorite groups, two of my favorite idols. Uh ooh, speaking of holographics, sheesh. Okay, Mia, I see you, I see. Man. What happened? What, ha what happened to Hot Issue needs to be studied. But Diane, I love you. S2, not so much. <laughs> Uh, go stand because of life, though, I guess. Uh, let's see. We, we, of course, you feel me? Hung, we got, we got, we got Arin. We got Hyunjin. Bro, Hyunjin used to be, like, he used to be that guy, for real. What's good, Chu? <laughs> What's good, Chu? What's good, Chu? Oh, my, bro, this card is, like, golden. The back of this card is so beautiful. These are the Feel Special albums. It's Feel Special Chewy. You know, Chewy's my bias and all, but, like, bro. And look how elegant she looked here. Like, that is, like... Bro, that's a that's a mood. Subin, Subin, Subin acting cute, and then Sua, of course. Speaking of Sua, this has still been here ever since. Um, y'all know if you saw the video, I ain't moving that either. I mean, I have to move it. I'm moving house, but that wherever I'm moving, that's going somewhere. Um, my boy Jisung, you already know. You already know. EU, EU. Oh, she. That's me. <laughs> oh goodness, bro. This card is like. That's a card, that card right there, bro, that Momo card right there, Signal Momo, feel me, Swan, what's good, Swan, Swan looking cute as ever, <sighs> you beanie, <laughs> you beanie, stop trying to hide Isa, look, that's Isa, the love of my life, Isa, okay, Itaeon, what's good, uh, Yeji, Yeji, she said, uh, please stand Itzy, please, for better skin, <laughs> Ooh, not nah, see this one. This one. This one's actually late. This is obviously Sujin, uh, Dumdi Dumdi era, like two eras, I guess. One era, however you want to look at that. Before, before you know. Uh, but hey, W card. Speaking of, this is <laughs> this is Huyan of Lightsum, the era before. You know, but she was my bias record. So like, shout out to her. Shout out to Lisa too. Like, ooh, the Polaroids. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, okay, okay, okay. Body yellow cap. Shout out, young Bozzy. Speaking of, shout out to Dami. Okay, mommy. You feel, is it going to focus? It's going to focus. Check her out, brother. Brother, check her out. She is crazy. Speaking of crazy, oh my goodness. I am crazy in love with Onda. Onda all day. Onda, Onda. Beat all my... Bro, now th this right here. This right here might be like my favorite... My favorite, bro, this card, are you seeing this? Are you, uh, are you, <sighs> Chaeyoung, you, Cha you know I'm in love with you. Speaking of in love, what is good, my brother? 
And why were these cards so big too? Like hot, hot big hit. What were y'all doing? What? What's good, Yunjin? And then we got Mark from Super M. Facts. You feel me? Then we got Hani from New Jeans. Duh. What's good, Hani? Looking cute. Uh, we got my wife with the blaster ready to. T I'm getting distracted because <laughs> Yunjin stays distracting. Um, move. I'm trying to stare at Chungha. Chunga, oh, Chunga, you, Chung, you, <sighs> bro, I swear to you, okay, what's good, Alexa, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, yeah, um, Jenny's trying to hide, but this is from, uh, one of the light sticks I unboxed, and Jenny looked fire in this photo, so, you know, speaking of fire in this photo, I swear Nakeng is just, like, the prettiest, <sighs> oh, getting down on the floor now, all right, we got Mina, Oh, wait, no, this Mina card's actually elite. Look at her hair. Nah, like, look at... Bruh, bruh, I swear to you. I swear to you. Hold on, let me move this. Bro, some of these are hard to see because I just kind of had to run the strand where I did. Um, Let's see who we got. Oh, we, bruh, Yubin again because I can't help myself. Oh, my girl, that is Yubin. She has, like, a little teddy bear. It's actually so adorable, guys. Like, you, you don't even understand. And it's a Polaroid, and it's, like, so cute. Speaking of cute... <sighs> <laughs> speaking of cute speaking of cute monday oh my goodness monday monday i saw y'all just don't even know oh these cards are touching i need to fix that but yeah that's cute i mean jihan is my bias in from his nine y'all being known and then i'm the like the biggest stacy stan on this planet so like <laughs> assuming you Speaking of the biggest stand on this planet, I, there ain't no Sora bias bigger than me. And if there is, oh, oh, hey, she she's here. She had to be here. Not to mention she's at the top. At the top. That, like, <sighs> Dakyan, how's it going? That is a fire picture. Look at the pose. Bro, look at the pose. Okay, some of these are kind of touching down here. Let me let me fix that a little bit. Uh, We got, we got Yell. I, you're making me want to yell all the time because you're so dang cute. Um, but I honestly, I'm pretty. Th now this card right here, this is just a fire photo card. Let me try to get this one in the light real quick so y'all can see this because this is just a cute photo card. And okay, I'm pretty sure the group. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm pretty sure the group here. This is like a girl from group Fanatics. I don't know who her name is. I don't know her. But it's like the cutest card I own, I swear. Because I, I bought a Fanatics album once because it was cute. And then that I pulled that card and I was like, oh, oh, you're cute. <laughs> so, so there you go, Fanatics. But if it wasn't Fanatics, y'all let me know. But, but then we have over here, let's see, let's get to it. That It's really, really hard to see. But that is May of Cherry Bullet right next to my Cherry Bullet cherry gun and cherry bullet just disbanded and i'm so upset because their music is so good but you know what I, hey it's 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 what it be you know fnc i never trusted them for shit so huh. oh well uh hopefully they don't mismanage p1 harmony oh goodness i still need my p1 harmony light stick and then last but not least <sighs> Handon is hiding in the bottom corner <sighs> behind ats behind my guitar had to be behind the guitar it's Dreamcatcher. foul so um <sighs> Put the skateboard on the floor. Put the longboard back there. The electric longboard. Oh, shoot. We should pick that back up. And, uh, yeah, that's really it. Okay, so now on to the albums. Ignore the dust you're about to see. Don't worry, I'm going to be fixing that when I move the shelves finally. But, yes, these shelves are bolted into the wall. And up first, top shelf, the group that got me into K-pop, both of them, actually, Blackpink and twice, but Blackpink at the top, so let's start there. Brother, ugh, come on now. Nah. Like, what? Like, like what, are you surprised? It's Blackpink in your area. Come on now. We got the vinyl. We got, like, literally everything Blackpink up here. Like, look at this. Look at this. This is, like, everything. This is, like, rose. We got, like, boom. We got the album. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This ain't everything, but Impact, this ain't much Blackpink at all. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm happy with any of my groups that I've collected. Any album that I own, I am pleased to have. Now, speaking of albums, I will be honest. I kind of peaked in like 2020, 2021 with album collecting. Lately, I've been heavy on the light sticks because for one, I think light sticks are really cool. I also think albums are cool. And I think album collections look really cool, which is part of the reason why I started collecting. But also, I wanted to support my faves. Um, But here's the thing, right? 
I don't have every album for every group, obviously. I'm not rolling in money. And I, like I said, I kind of like peaked in 2021, maybe some 2022 stuff. I haven't got too many albums last year or this year, but Hey, I don't even collect for every group I stand because I just haven't had the money or time to buy their albums. But regardless, that's just out with that out the way. Um, so Blackpink, you know, I think the collection looks nice. I also organize by group, you know, some people, you know, hot topic in the album community. They're like, Ooh, do you want to organize by color? Do you want to organize by group? And then when you organize by group, do you want to organize by discography or do you want to just put it however you want that looks the best? With Blackpink specifically, I just put it however I want that looks the best, mostly because I needed the space because I had to force new jeans in when I unboxed this earlier this year. <laughs> or was that last year? I don't remember, man. This is the best album I own. This right here is the best album I own. Bro, it came with a bag. Like, new jeans... This was, like, I decorated it and everything. No, 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 no. That's the best one we own by far. Sick. All right. So, yeah, that's my new jeans collection. That's my black paint collection. Coming down here, um, including over here, what's good, Nyan's album. Uh, Nyan's having a comeback. I'm hearing thoughts. People are saying Ginny's going to be. Thoughts of Ginny on a Nyan. Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm yapping. But this whole video is yap, though. I, I told you it was going to be yap. So, <laughs> So we got the, the, the twice co twice collection. Boom. Over here, it was going in order. I I typically have most of these in chronological order. Blackpink, not so much because I had to like do it that way to fit all this up here because I was running out of room on these shelves. But typically it's in chronological order, like a you know, like I'm saying. So, you know, starting with the debut, and then it worked this way. Now here's another thing I did. Some albums that I really like, or I really like the album cover of, I would... This also just has a Nyan inclusion on top of it, because I had nowhere else to put it. If I really like the album cover of, uh, of an album, I just put it on display. Which, I love roller coasters and roller coaster enthusiasts. I also think the album cover is just really cool. So, I displayed Twice Coaster. I, I, what, what do you want from me? Like, come on now, that's lane two, but like, come on now. Come on now, I mean lane one. That's lane one, but sick album cover coming through coming through even up here you knew i had to do it to him come on now it's the chewy version of ready to be come on a chewy version i ran out of space so it's up there <laughs> what's good jihyo what's good jihyo and then yeah it kind of just transitions very smoothly into itsy's discography which okay it's discography it's not i don't have like everything okay again i'd like to have more stuff but i will say with itsy's discography i have two of the rarer Itzy items you can get as far as albums go. I have their debut, It's Different, which is like, a t it's just a photo book and it's really small. It's not technically an album. Most people would say they didn't drop an album for their debut, but no, 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 they actually did. It's, it's, te well, it's technically a photo book, but like, it's hard to get. That thing was hard to find, but I found one. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> and then, my other flex is not that I have two It's Icy albums in the same version. I just happen to have two of them. I, because someone was selling them on eBay, they said I was what I was looking for was the Patty at Itzy album photo book thing, and some guy was selling it with an It's Icy album. I was like, I already have It's Icy, which is my favorite album of theirs, by the way, aesthetically. It's Icy looks so good aesthetically, but I'm like, hold on. I have to buy this because he was kind of scamming himself. He wasn't selling it for much. And other people were selling this thing for money. And that's my favorite survival or reality show, like, ever, basically. So, to get the photo book from it, I'm just, yeah. And both of those happened in their debut year. So, those are my big flexes. <laughs> got some not shies. Got some guess who's. Yeah, and that's that's kind of it with Itzy. All right. Moving down. Rocket Punch. Uh, it's kind of sad, bro. But, like, this is better than for some groups. I got three Rocket Punch albums. I got Red Punch, Blue Punch. I need the Pink Punches and the other punches and then Yellow Punch. I need all them. But you also got this album um, and the Light Stick. Okay. Okay, okay, guys. The first of a few. Boom. This is a signed weekly album. This is my weekly collection. Okay, when Weekly debuted, they were my favorite group. I'm talking favorite. I picked fa I up until weekly debuted. I never told myself I had a favorite group. I said I just like groups, and now I've kind of reverted back to that statement of I just like groups. I don't have a favorite, but when weekly debuted, they were my favorite. I'm telling you, they were my favorite. Okay, 
So I got their first album. I got their second album. The third thing they dropped, I bought that too. It was their <laughs> their season's greetings, which was sports themed, which you can literally see up here. I still have part of the thing on display. I swear they put Monday and Jihad next to each other. Like they just knew it was meant to be for me. <laughs> so uh, that's been Jihan right here, who was my Ulta Volts in K-pop at this point, uh, has been on display ever since. I don't know what you want from me. She's been on display ever since. Um, but then right after that, I was so hyped about the first two albums. I said, we're going into the next era. It was called We Play, and I saw they were selling the signed albums. So I said, let me get one of them. Bought one. Y'all know what the title track is for this album? Yeah, you do? Yeah, it's After School. Which is one of the best K-pop songs ever made. I was streaming the hell out of that before it blew up, then it blew up, and then, you know, Weekly did their little thing. So I have a signed After School album. That's essentially what this is. It's wrapped. It's protected. I wrapped it. I protected it. I wish they didn't sign the inside of the album and they signed the cover because the cover looks kind of cool, but, you know, it's what it be. That's, that's, that, that is a signed After School album. And look, it's Jihan signature. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, we'll get back to that over there. Uh, next we have Purple Kiss. Also one of my favorite groups out right now. Um, I still need to react to their newest comeback because I've just been busy catching up and I'm now moving so I don't have the time to. But I'm saving a lot of the stuff I need to react to until I get to my new place and I've been trying to just keep up with the new stuff right here. But uh, yeah, that's my Purple Kiss album. Yes, I said my Purple Kiss album. You would think because I react to so much Purple Kiss that I have more albums of theirs, but nope, I have one. All right, so uh, then here's my Super M collection because I used to I used to Super M, man, I'm still a Super M stan. If they ever decide to come back, which I don't think they will, because I don't think they can. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, yep, I got three albums. You feel me? Even the Target exclusive one. Then moving on, we have my Secret Number collection. It is only three albums. Okay, um, I almost had a fourth Secret Number album at one point, but then I didn't end up buying it. It, I was like at a store and I saw it and I was like, what the heck? But then it was like damaged so I didn't buy it and well, whatever. And there's a Dini stand up because cause she's cute. Uh, moving on, Stray Kids, my literal, one of my literal favorite groups in all of K-pop. Like literally my favorite boy group. Um, Okay, first of all, just real quick, just had to let y'all know that that's the Han version because of course it is, it's me. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know how many albums that is. Oh, I also got the Kingdom photo book. That's kind of like a rare flex. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I got like just a sort assortments of albums here. Just one version. Again, I'd like to have every version of every album, but you know how that goes. All right, <laughs> moving on. We have TXT. But first of all, I want to... Oh, wait. I didn't talk about this earlier. There's my Need You Light Stick. I forgot about that. It's like hidden down here. It has a stand, so that's why it's over here instead of hanging, you know? Um, but yeah, uh, TXT, they had a skater concept for one of their albums. As you can see, Kai with the skateboard here, looking crazy. So I, I, I also like skateboarding, and I have like some ramps and stuff that I've collected from when I was younger. But they also, Kai also famously rode a bike in drama, so then I had the bike for the skate ramp, and the, it, it's all, it all makes sense for me, it, it goes hard, uh, but yes, this is my TXT collection, including the worst album ever made, uh, the Target version, uh, never remind me, that piece of cardboard right there at the end is an album, an official album, I even have some of their Japanese albums, be going crazy, that's my TXT collection, I fucks with it, alright, uh, so down here, over here, over here, right here, right, this is, um, well, you can see it, it's my La Seraphim collection, I don't know if y'all remember, I have a video on my channel called Unboxing Every La Seraphim Album. Every one. And up to the date when I bought these, that was true. I have not bought one since. Now wait, you're like, what happened? Oh, I'm still a huge piano. Y'all know that. I'm like a huge piano. The thing is, I'm just not spending the money on it because I, I, I don't have the money. I don't have the facilities right now. Okay, I just <laughs> I don't have the facilities right now. But... Shoot, it does a little nice, don't it? Then all them that's what it looks like when you complete a group and you just have all their albums next to each other. Now they've doubled the amount of albums they've released since then, so it would be that times two. But shoot, it does look satisfying. Speaking of having every album of every group, ah, <laughs> Billy. Oh, Billy.
you were also my favorite group for like at least a few months. Man, 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 as time flies. My biggest flex for Billy is, uh, that's the Pot Bing Su album crammed in there. I do have an unboxing of that on my channel, but shoot, that's my biggest flex. Pot Bing Su album, let's go. I, 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 see, I try to collect basically everything, Billy, but I'm kind of behind now. I, I was doing really good getting, like, everything Billy, all the albums, all that, but I kind of fell behind last year. I still need to get the side A and B or whatever of, you know, bring your own best friend and whatnot, but I'm working on it. Then, I'm like, the biggest Swift on the planet. Do I have every Stacy album? No. Do I have enough of them? In my eyes, yes. If you, look, if you're a Swift, okay, between you and me, talking to you, if you're a Swift, or if you're a whatever, I don't care whose fandom it is. It could be a soloist. I don't care. You don't have to buy albums to support them. There's plenty of ways to support people. I just want to throw that out there. Because, look, I'm happy to have this amount of albums. Some people will be like, why don't you have more versions? Some people will also be like, you have a lot. I get that. I think I have quite a few Stacey albums. And I'm happy to have these albums. Would I like to have every Stacey album? Yes! I'd have... I like organizing things and making things look nice. So if I had every Stacey album then I would just have so much fun finding ways to organize it and display all the albums. It'd be, that'd be fun to me. Um, but, oh well. Uh, and speaking of, there's the Teddy Bear album, right? Oh, and also that's the worst designed album ever. Uh, <laughs> Younglove.com can um, respectfully uh, in GTA. Uh, so, yeah, we got the little Teddy Bear from the Teddy Bear album down here on display because he's cute. Um, all right, let's get up off the floor. Let's go back over here. Top corner. Well, first of all, Dreamcatcher album box. Gahyun Standy, red velvet glasses from, you know, red velvet thingy. <laughs> okay, so, Dami, Xian, Fax, you feel me? Fax, also Everglow, Shihyun back there. She's hard to see, but Shihyun, Shihyun, and uh, Dami, you feel me? Standies, let's go. Um, Yeah, that's my Dreamcatcher collection. <sighs> and honestly, by the way, Speaking of displaying albums that I think look cool, I just thrown it up. That, that album's fire. But, um, okay, so I'm very proud of this collection. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, because this and this, expensive. Bought this when it came out, so it wasn't expensive. Same with this album. But you know how Dreamcatcher albums are, bro. If you're, if you're an Insomnia and you're a collector of the Insomnia brand, brother... I feel for you. I feel for your wallet, bro. Because, look, I, I decorated my light staff. Had a great time decorating my light staff. Um, you know, I try to keep up with the light stick side of things. I got the replacement, you feel me? But, like, as far as albums go, Dreamcatcher be expensive. I can't even lie to you. Dreamcatcher is just straight up expensive. I can't keep up with Dreamcatcher. But, you know, hey, hey. I'm still happy to have what I got. And this album looks fire. I was so glad when I found a good price for this on eBay. I was winning. Anyways, up next, Idol. So, like, here's the thing with Idol. I'm still a huge Nevi. Never switched up, never changed. They took a break. As you can see, I really started collecting heavy right before the break. I got all three versions of I Burn. And then they, you know, you, I mean, y'all know what happened, so... Shoot, but I haven't bought one since. But they, it just that's it's just unfortunate timing, really, because I'm not in the collecting spirit right now. But you know, life is life. Okay, now come over here. Y'all know I'm a, a light stick enthusiast, right? <sighs> Y'all can pause and read this if you want to. This is my Everglow light stick design that I want to pitch to the company because it would be fire. It's like their logo. But the E and the G would free rotate because of the way you would use, like, bearings. If they used bearings in a light stick, it looks kind of basic how it's just a ball and whatnot. But that's, like, the cheap design. Everyone does it. Okay, let me get this back in here. Okay. That's the cheap design everyone does. So, like, I would respect that, right? It's like, okay, you're saving money. I see that. But you could do something really cool if you put bearings in a light stick. The E and the G would freely rotate, which is literally, if you know Everglow, that's like how their, their logo changes every comeback. They just slightly move the E and the G in the rings they're in. So it's like double ringed up inside of it. I thought it was cool. Anyways, I have three albums. Yup. 
Psych, I have five albums. Well, I'm blind as hell. Uh, <laughs> I have five albums. First of all, Hush is so... Well, first of all, no. Every, every little album is kind of beautiful, but the company be going crazy. I'm not even going to lie. All of our albums are kind of pretty as hell. Like, so good looking. Especially Hush. And Hush is, like, debatably my favorite Everglow song. So to have the album is fire. But then, first, we got our first win with first. And I got it signed. I got that shit signed, you feel me? You feel me? Check out Eden's signature, you feel me? EU signature. EU, well, she, that's me. Uh, so, you feel me? And now, that's that's Everglow. I am so happy to have this. Again, it's wrapped, just like last time. Gotta wrap the signatures. You know how it goes. Bam. All right, moving on. This is my Uwa collection. Three albums. Uwa's hard to collect, too, because Uwa be getting, like, really expensive because they're Nugu. But if I ever find the Curious album on sale for less than something... I might have to just pull. I might have to just give in and just instinctively buy. But, uh, yeah, I also got this signed. So, um, I'm winning. Yeah, that's right. That's Sodai Signature. Be jealous. Stay jealous. That's mine. It's wrapped up. <laughs> uh, no, but I like what I did here. See, look. It's got, like, the, the three-piece boop, boop, boop. And they're, like, slowly go back. I thought it looked pretty cool. Oh, also, I don't know if you, you recognize these, uh, these, these things that I put here for decoration to, they're, they're actually like strategic because this is a like, it's a, it's a zigzag shelf, right? So I lined these up with where the pressure points would be. So not only do they look good, but they legitimately like support everything. It's fire. It's fire. It's fire. Uh, so yeah, that's my, ooh, um, ooh, uh, I love y'all to death. I'm gonna react to blush soon. I swear I'm going to get to blush soon. <sighs> Everglow collect. I mean, what the hell? Have goes over there. Espa collection. Yep. I just have one version of girls. You even saw me unbox it on the channel. This is all I have. This is it. I love Espa to death. They're coming. They're in the process of coming back. I, one of the last videos I just got done filming was Espa. You feel me? A little bit, little bro chilling over here too. But, um, yeah, that, that's it. I didn't have space for them. Any, I didn't like, I tried to, okay, they're going to go in this corner. They're going to, this group over here, this group over here. I didn't have space for us, but they, they only have one album. So they're on the outside and they're right by the door too. Like first thing I see when I open the door and walk in my room every day is that. And I tried to get these. I was hoping they would be more clear so you could like see through them and still see the members. But I mean, it kind of works, you know, like I still see that every day when I walk in. Um, the, the, I've been using those the whole time. Plus the, the stands I got these like stands right here. These are also clear. So I don't know. I just, just tried to, to get clear things cause I thought it would look cool. Um, but yeah. All right. Moving on to the weird section. There's a hole here. Cause that's where my light switch is. Like the lights to my room are literally in there. So I literally need this hole here, but that's why there's a hole here. But also the main reason there's a hole here is cause this is my Luna and need you collection and let's be honest here the only luna album i have is choose you can see me on this on the channel i bought this years ago because i was like oh i think choose my bias i never fully 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 got it turned into the biggest orbit in the world i was a, i was an orbit but i wasn't like a huge orbit and eventually when all that went down and Chu finally debuted as a soloist i just unboxed it because i had kept it wrapped the whole time and that's when I unboxed it and I put Chu over here. Shout out to Chu. You feel me? So, uh, yeah. And then I also have only one Need You album because Need You albums are so hard to come by. But you feel me? Wait, no. This is an NF album. Wait, where did I? Oh, that's down. No, Need You's down there. I'm capping. This is an NF album for no reason. Rapper NF. That's Cloud's EP mixtape thing. Okay. Oh, my girl. <laughs> Oh My Girl is right. I got almost every Oh My Girl album. I was doing good, too. Like, look at this. They didn't be having multiple versions for many of their albums early days. And I was doing quite good at collecting. I don't know why. Because, like, yeah, I'm a pretty decent miracle. But I'm, like, a. I wouldn't say I'm, like, the biggest miracle. So, like, why did I decide to collect all of their albums? I don't know. I just did. And then I was having fun doing it, so... Like, I got both versions of Oh My Girl, Oh My Girl. You feel me? I'm out here. I'm out here. I'm out here. So, yeah. Also got this giant, big, huge version. Like, 
man. But I need a. There's still a few albums I'm missing, and I need to get Summer Comes and whatnot if I'm gonna complete my Oh My Girl collection, which at this point I'm pretty close to it. I might as well try to someday. Unless the albums get too expensive, you know how that is. Anyways, this is my completed. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, completed. I completed this collection. This is my completed Hot Issue collection. Hot Issue was debatably also one of my favorite groups. Right around the time when Icons dropped, I was just obsessed with this group. They'd only had one era. I was watching all of their content. It's, again, it's Fuck S2, my bad. It's uh, Screw S2 and uh, Ghost Stan, uh, Kiss of Life or whatever. <laughs> but, like... And, again, displaying an album, just because I think it looks good. And every signed album I have, I'm displaying as well. All right. My high key collection, not completed. It's literally only Athletic Girl, but when they debuted, I was obsessed with that song, and so I bought the album right there. My 80s collection. My 80s collection is uh, only three albums, and 80s has like a billion albums, but like, I, I don't know. I got two of their earlier albums. Those can get more expensive these days, and then I'm working on it. This was actually the first 80s album I ever bought, Inception, and um, I kind of cooked with buying uh, Zero Fever Part 1. I, I believe that's Part 1. But Inception, uh, From His Nine collection. Bro, can someone tell me why From His albums be getting so expensive? I'm just trying to buy some of their early albums and they're like 300 bucks. Like what? I'm, not, I'm never going to buy that, by the way. I, I'm not that stupid. The most I'm spending on an album is like 50, maybe, if I'm stupid. <laughs> I got to be finding deals, bro. But like, you're telling me, okay, whatever. Uh, So yeah, I'm probably never going to get the Love Bomb album. Probably never going to get their debut album. Never going to get their best album, which is their second album. It's just never going to happen. But you know what? Hey, I think it's a pretty decent collection. And especially the highlight of the collection is... Well, I say it's highlight. Is this nine-way ticket album. So they were selling signed albums. And I had never bought it from a signed album before. I hadn't bought many signed albums at this point. So I said, shoot, I'll take one. Let's go, Flovers. And uh, then I it got here and I was like, oh, it's only one person signed it. It's member signed. And I don't know if you can tell. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if this was just because the way she wrote it or if this happened in shipping, but it probably happened in shipping. I still wrapped it up and protected it because I, I care, but it is Na Young's signature. Shout out to... I, I was actually so hyped that I got her because Jihan is my bias. Yes, I have my fingers crossed like, please be Jihan, you know, but you know, it, it's got a smudge. I can't lie, it is smudged, but, and the smudge is pretty bad, but I don't even care, bro. You know what? That's not young signed. I'm chilling. You, you feel me? All right, let me go down here. <sighs> bro, speaking of displaying albums I like, my wife's debut EP, Uptown Girl, also have the, uh, the door thing next to my Stray Kids. <laughs> Do not disturb and you want to come in. They're right next to each other. It makes no sense, but don't question me. Don't question me, bro. So this section right here is the soloist section. That's what this is. This is the soloist shelf because it's got Mirani. Then we have CL's album from a few years ago, Alpha. We have Alexa's album right here. And then we go into Chungha. I have three Chungha albums. I have Play. I have uh, Quinceanera. And I have the special single, Killing Me, Killing Me, Killing Me, Killing Me. So facts. Uh... You know me. I love the hell out of Chunk, huh? So then we have Blue Moon by Niju. This is my single Niju album because these things are so hard to get. I'm a Niju stand, but like, uh, you, how do you collect those? Uh, you can't sit with us. I really want to display this album too because it's like honestly so pretty and so well done and well made. But I did display. I don't know if you can see her back there. Boom. That's her. She back there for real. Okay. So now we only have one shelf left. It's at the very bottom. Then we're going to do a quick overview, and then everything going to be good. So, boom. Saturday. I got two Saturday albums. Am I a Saturday stand? No. Why do I own these? Well, this one specifically, you already know. You display the the songs go. I like Saturday's music, which is why I wanted to support them. I saw these at a K-pop store when I was in Atlanta once, and I was trying to bulk buy to get a deal that they were doing. So, I just was like, I like Saturday's music. And this album looked really pretty. And then DVD Deep was their newest song at the time. And that should be slapping, so I bought it. All right, BTS collection. I have two BTS albums. Yup, B and Map of the Soul 7. All right, NCT collection. I have one NCT album. It is NCT 2020. 
Hey, there was some slappers on that album, though. There's that Fanatics album I was telling you all about. It is a pretty cute album. <sighs> My Red Velvet collection consists of one album. These are just... This case, so the section down here is soloist and random albums. But then I tried to fit Red Velvet in here. I also have a Sea and Blue album. I don't know. It just looked... It's, it's In fact, wait, no. The Sea and Blue album was given to me for free at the K-pop store because they were like, here, because you, you did whatever, you can get a free album, pick one. And I was like... I don't stay in any of these groups, but the that one's golden. It looks cool. The album is golden, and it, it looks kind of cool. And then we also have this uh, Red Velvet Light Stick. Now, whew, my Light Sun collection. I need to update this again. <laughs> Bro, I need to update these. But, uh, no. So we have, well, clearly, a signed vanilla debut album. I became a stand instantly. I was so hyped when this girl group debuted. I was like, bro, I'm so ready. It's wrapped. It's protected. It's OT8. It's signed. Oh, my God. And then I had to display that because that's just beautiful. The Light of Wish album? Hello? That is so pretty. But I ran out of space to display them both. So it's displayed behind the side one because I feel like that's more, more you know, special to me. But, like, that's just pretty. So the double display. And that's it. All right, guys, before we leave, though. So, like I said, back here. Behind Sunmi's album is Sunmi's face. Now we're going to see a theme here. Behind, see? See that bad air? Behind, I specifically bought a shelf that was backless because I had this idea. I had this plan. If I buy backless shelves that fit, it took forever to find the right type of shelf I was looking for. It had to be able to fit the light stick things. It also had to be S-shaped. It also had to be backless. Because I thought it would be really cool at the time. I didn't end up getting to it that well because I kind of just didn't ha have the time to do it. But I'm moving now. But you feel me? Uh, that's UI back there. That's my bias. I mean, UI is also over here, as we know. I have her album. You know, it's right there. But she's the backdrop to my collection of oh my god and i think that's just fire then when we pan up here now this is actually just not related weekly ended up being put over that i put weekly over there but initially when i was doing my collection up here where i now have dreamcatcher and idol i had weekly and that entire back wall back there that whole thing is the we can poster which i think i thought it was a pretty fire poster when it dropped feel me you got the girls back there everything's cool uh so yeah but then I also tried to do the same thing. If you come over here, you can't see it anymore because of the way I rearranged these. But when I initially had, the way I initially had my Blackpink set up is these weren't here. They were over to the side before I put new jeans in. And you could still see it. You can see our boots though. Rhinestones shining off them boots. That's Lisa. Lisa's face is like right here. So I had Lisa, a Blackpink bias behind my black pink collection so i had a lisa poster behind black pink you feel me i had a ui poster my bias and oh my god behind oh my god come come over here who that who that who that be who that be that be nyan yeah that be nyan yeah that be nyan behind twice even, even though i am a chewy bias i never got a chewy poster that fit back there but i got a nyan poster that fit back there damn it <laughs> and then i just i don't know I thought the xylophone was colorful and cute, so I just put it back there. It, 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 there was no more of, like, that type of thing. The closest I got was there's a random Monday just chilling right here behind the toys thing for whatever reason. And since this is where Dreamcatcher is, I forgot to point out. There's also a Sua thing back here. And where did it go? There was a uh, Chewan. I don't know where it went. There was a Chewan something or other on the wall somewhere. I'm sure I'll see it when I'm taking this apart later. But, yeah. Also, for the longest, I had these shelves up and they were just leaning forward because it's on carpet. They were slowly coming this way. And I was terrified. One night, I was just going to be asleep and I was going to hear the loudest noise of my life when one of the shelves collapsed and some of the albums were going to get damaged and it was going to be like the worst day ever. And so, like, I kind of screwed them into the wall. Also, that's a black pink magazine because they looked really good in it. And so I just bought it. But yeah, um, so there you go. And that's, that's, that's kind of it. Like, so yeah, that's the room tour. You feel me? You feel me? We here? We good? Everything great? <sighs> Everything feeling okay? Yeah. I don't want to get to the bank. Yeah. BBL Jersey. BBL Jersey.
okay, so I know I should have waited. As you can see, we got some of my stuff in my room here. I've been moving for the last, like, three days. My back hurts. <laughs> but I didn't wait. Uh, basically, <laughs> here's what we're doing. We're going straight into this new place. Just like that, I'm in here. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I'm actually kind of hype on this. Um, let me explain. Uh, look, it's my shelves. They're like empty. Look, it's my other shelf. Not so empty. It's full of junk. Look, I already set my computer and set up up because I had to do my work. Um, guys. <laughs> So the room I'm in right now, this is this is this is the temporary room. Let me explain this is temporary because at the end of this video and in a minute I'm going to show you the entire like the 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 main plan, the place that I'm moving to eventually. But right now I'm in this like temporary if you will setup, which I still want to make look kind of nice, but I'm not going to lie. All this on the floor you can see that right there, that, that, that's albums, that's light sticks, all that. I boxed it up. I, I've moved it. At, I've moved everything. Do you guys think I should, like, unpack all that? Because here's how it's going. We're renovating the upstairs of a garage. So while that's being done, I am here. But if I unpack all this, I'll have to then repack it to move it again later. So I might just keep all that in the boxes, and we're just going to have some scuffed videos for the next few months. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> But, hey, we'll see, we'll see. You know, I still want to make good content for y'all. Um, but, yeah, so this is the place. I could not wait. I had to do the setup of the computer, the PC, all that stuff. Mostly because I really want to react to Espa. <laughs> I reacted to uh, <laughs> that's Espa right before we went on a break. And then they started dropping, like, tracks. And I was like, dang it. They dropped one, like, the second I took that, took apart my PC. I looked at, I looked at YouTube. Dropped a new one. I was like, well, what the heck? Then they dropped another one as I started moving. I'm like, what the heck? So I need to get to it so I can react to Espa. Um, I guess I should kind of clean up this mess. But, like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it what it is, I guess. Um, Yeah, so we're over here. We moved. I'm excited. I'm going to go and show you the, uh, the, the attic space that I plan on renovating. And I guess that'll be it for this video. So, uh, yeah. All right, so now we are in the garage. What is the garage, you might ask? Well, let's take a quick look upstairs because this is the permanent spot that I will be moving my entire setup to. Well, I'll be moving to. All right, up the stairs, up the stairs. All right, well, boom. I'm gonna live on a bunch of wood. Pause. <laughs> Pause. No, wait, hold on. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hey, hold on now. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah, up here, this is like the attic space of, <laughs> of this garage, which is like next to the new place we got. And so essentially, what I'm doing is the area over here with the wood, we're going to turn that into like this giant closet, store a bunch of stuff there. But, but, the area over here that I'm standing in right now, I'm going crazy. We've got designs that I have designed up that we're going to try to get done. We're going to turn this whole place into like, I don't know, my dream room? Is that the right word? I'm going to try to turn this place into somewhere that I find really cool. Great for collecting. Great. For, hold on one second. Um. Hey, yo. I can't be having you living in here, bro. Look, I'm sure you're cool. But, like, we ain't friends like that. <laughs> it's... <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah so that's essentially it we turning this into the spot this is where we finna move everything to but um for a while obviously i'm gonna be in that other place it is what it is i'm i i'm excited to get lots of content filmed for y'all and we gonna get moving we gonna get grinding if i still keep collecting <laughs> we gonna get collecting <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll film some unboxings. I don't know. They're like a lot of work to do and they never get many views, but you know, I'll be doing this because I want to, not because I'm forced to. So at the end of the day, hey, I need to go do my homework. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here now. 
uh, edit this and get it up for you. So friends, I hope you, yes, you have a good day, morning or night, whatever time it is for you and wherever you are in the world. With that being said, peace. Stay in me, I guess. Goodbye. And so yeah, that's basically the temporary setup onto filming this SPA video.